In a history of science museum in Florence, Italy, is the middle finger of our modern age. I've been lucky enough to actually go to this museum and it is incredible. And in there, among the armillary spheres and the lodestones and the antique telescopes, there is a literal piece of humanity, a middle finger, and it is kept in a little shrine, like a saintly relic. But this is not a piece of a saint. It is a piece of an enemy of the church. It is part of a heretic. This is Galileo's middle finger. It took a while for Galileo's skeleton to age into something worth collecting, sort of like a, like a fine wine. So it wasn't until 1737, or 95 years after he died, that one Anton Francesco Gori went and decided that he needed to collect a few pieces of Galileo Galilei. Now, this wasn't without a precedent. There was a long tradition of preserving venerated individuals in Catholicism. Except this was a little different. Anton Francesco Gori was not a religious fanatic. He was a Galileo groupie. What he did is he snapped off three fingers and a few other bits, which we'll get into later. He took his thumb, his index finger, and his middle finger. Is, is this your index finger? He was taking scientific relics. These were the fingers that Galileo used when he adjusted his telescope. He was, in essence, creating the first scientific saint. Oftentimes, Galileo is portrayed as being versus the church. It was Galileo and the church in this you know, pit match against each other. It was a little more complicated than that. Galileo wanted to write a book on heliocentrism, his theory that the earth did in fact revolve around the sun and not the other way around. And the church actually said, okay, that's fine, but you just, you gotta represent both sides of the argument. So Galileo did this, but the guy who represented the church in its geocentric position did such a terrible job that when the book was published, people basically thought that Galileo had punked the Pope. After this, the Pope, who was already paranoid and worried about looking weak, uh, came down and sentenced Galileo to house arrest basically for the remainder of his life. But it, it doesn't mean that Galileo ever truly abandoned his faith. Ultimately, whether Galileo's middle finger is pointed up at the heavens where he saw the beauty of God in math and physics, or out to the church who condemned him for his scientific views, is really uh, for the viewer to decide. His, his thumb and other finger were also taken, and they actually weren't discovered until 2009, when they were seen on an auction block and someone put it together and was like, I feel like these are the other two fingers that have been missing. So they have been reunited, as has a tooth. And if you are on a Galileo corpse tour of Italy, you should go to the University of Padua uh, because they've got his vertebrae.